Hi, good evening. Welcome on board, everyone. We're going to start soon. seconds Good afternoon everyone how has your day been good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching from so i just want to give some form of background to today's conversation good to see you on more tire <laughs> good evening good afternoon all of us how you doing so i thought to give you the background to this conversation on sunday when i was taking my prayer walk so I try to count some steps in every day. So I do on the average of 11,000 steps and then sometimes I go high. In fact, yesterday I did about 15,000. So while I was taking my walk on Sunday, my spirit just felt like praying for two sets of people. And the people that I want to be praying for at the first set are diligent people and the second set are people who are not compromising in their business and at work so this is not a get rich soon scheme and this is not any shortcut to prosperity this is specifically for people who first of all are diligent in their place of assignment Secondly, are not compromising in their place of assignment, their business or wherever they work. Why this set of people? Because the world is very strange and we have gotten to that point where if we call ourselves children of the kingdom, then we need to act like children of the kingdom. There are so many things that some of us do or we have done before and thankfully we're not doing again you know that do not reflect the fact that we belong to the kingdom so like I said this is not a get rich soon this is not turn around 20 times say to your neighbor um, you are blessed and this is not this ritual where you will show up every day to pray and not do anything so this is not shortcut to favor or grace this prayer meeting is very intentional and we will do this daily till i feel like we are done with this particular series or whatever it is so i am talking to just two sets of people if you are not there i will let you know that this will not work for you so if you're looking for shortcut and you are stealing from your boss or you are stealing from your clients if you are not faithful where you work it won't work for you if you're stealing from your clients or your boss it will not work for you if you are shady this prayer meeting will not work for you 
if you are not diligent in your place of work you are looking for the shortcut to favor and grace this will not work for you so i thought that i should be truthful and i should put that disclaimer on board this is not for everyone this prayer meeting and daily prayers are for just two sets of people the first set are the committed and diligent christians the second set are people who have refused to compromise in their business and in their place of work so if you are compromising if you are not diligent if you are lazy if you think that you do not owe your boss your service and your loyalty and your faithfulness and your truth this is not for you if you are part of the people who waste your official time doing your personal things and you are collecting your salary this is not for you so if you are shady in any way please do not join the prayer meeting that we'll be having every day i thought to put this disclaimer out there so that you will not misunderstand the intention behind it i am not praying for everybody i am praying for just two sets of people the diligent people and the people who have refused to compromise if you are compromising at any level cheating your boss at any level cheating your clients at any level you are not supposed to be here the only reason why you should be here is if you choose to repent and you stop so this is not a get rich um, scheme or oh, yeah this is not all this um, ritual or this spiritual babala or whatever that you feel like okay let's just be praying up and down praying up and down till we have breakthrough no because all of us that are praying here we will monitor our desired outcome and we will communicate directly with our father so this is not a shady enterprise or whatever as we speak it we see it so I thought to put that disclaimer there so that when it's not working for you, you will know the reason why that your hands are corrupted, your soul is corrupt, and you are not representing God. So if there's any level of fraud that you are partaking of, spending company's time, company's resources, messing up your boss, um, making different mistakes to the point where it's costing your company a lot and you have refused to change all of those bad behavior who are not supporting them here do you understand and then I'm not leading the prayers for you to like me or respect me it's not part of it we are praying to God so this is the disclaimer that I will share every day so that you would know and if you have friends who are diligent in their place of work who are not compromising who are showing up like with the kingdom mindset that is required please always invite them here we will do this every evening so that is um, 10 p.m. West African time 10 p.m. UK time and then 4 p.m. Central Standard Time which is the time in the US so now that we're on the same page the reason why I chose to obey my spirit and what i heard god say to me on sunday was actually struggled with it i did not make a decision until this afternoon because first and foremost i did not want to make it look like oh we're just starting a prayer meeting for starting sake i had this burden in my soul and in my heart especially when every time i walk i pray for my business i pray for my friends and their businesses i pray for my clients everybody around and i started having that burden where i'm like children of god should not be struggling children of god should not suffer and when i say children of god i don't just mean people who go to church i don't mean people who cram scriptures i mean people who practice the word so if you are not practicing the word i am not talking to you and i am saying this so that you would know so that it's not a matter of, oh, eh, I was praying, eh, nothing has been happening. You need to practice the word of God for this to happen. So we are not doing any spiritual yahoo yahoo here. So I'm not talking about people who identify as Christians. I'm not talking about people who go to church, who are in workforce, who drop offering and tithe. No. When I say Christians, 
on my platform, what I mean is people who obey scriptures. So I'm not talking about people who practice envy, jealousy, who gossip, who destroy people, who have crap mentality, who throw people on social media. You can't be a Christian and be insulting people on social media. It is out of character for the kingdom. Do you understand? So it's not you people I'm talking to. I'm not talking about people who insult elders because they want to communicate. No, that's this is not the page for that. This page is for people who have sense. And I'm not insulting you. I'm describing what we are doing here. This page is for people who have sense. And when I say sense, what I mean is people who have home training. They raised you and you raised yourself. People who understand that at no point is it allowed to insult older people. It's not a matter of uh, culture. No, 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 no. It's a matter of common sense. You can have a conversation without insulting people. So this is not that kind of prayer meeting where you will just invite everybody to join. No. And I'm not here to be liked, loved, or respected. All of those things keep in your pocket. I just want to do my job. Do you understand? <laughs> I thought we should know. So before you now begin to idolize me and turn me into people, somebody you worship, don't attempt it. Don't attempt it. I will disappoint you. I thought you should know. So this prayer meeting that we'll be having daily, till I now say that, oh, we are done praying, we're good. So every evening, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, 10 p.m. UK Time, 10 p.m. Um, West African time, we will just gather to pray for ourselves, to pray for our businesses, pray for our health. And the foundation behind this is, I do not believe that Christians are meant to struggle. And when I say Christians, I have explained it before. Not churchgoers, not wicked people, not gossips, not people who shame other people, not people who troll online, not people who jump traffic lights. The traffic lights you see, you cannot obey. The God you have never seen, you are pretending to obey. I'm not talking about people who say that eh, premarital sex is not sin. I'm not talking about people who choose the part of the Bible to obey. No. And then I'm also not talking about people who want submission from their wives, but don't want to love their wives as Christ loves the church. You know all those bad behavior that social media has tried to make it look like it's normal no my my wall is for normal people for people who have sense professionals entrepreneurs um executives with sense so if there's any iota of portable or walla walla in your spirit i would dash you generational blocking so i thought we should know you know before we start because i have studied human behavior do you understand? All of us must have sense on this wall. Do you understand? So any bad behavior, take it away. So you are welcome in the name of the Lord. <laughs> we don't do any out here. I have an assignment for two sets of people. The first set are people who identify as kingdom members members of the kingdom of god i'm not your social media influencer you are not paying me to influence nobody is feeding me here do you understand so i'm not scared of anybody <laughs> the first assignment if you identify as a child of god you belong to the kingdom and you obey scriptures you are not choosing which scripture to obey you are not doing selective obedience you obey scriptures. It's those people I'm talking to. <laughs> no spiritual fraud or 419. You obey scriptures. Those are people I'm having a conversation with this evening. So if you are not part of it, go to Twitter. Do you understand? This one is not for everybody. This is a conversation with children. So if you obey scriptures, we should be here every evening. 10 p.m. West African time, UK, 4 p.m. CST. Because we must encounter breakthrough this year. For people who obey scriptures, 
if you don't obey scriptures your pastor is somewhere else they will minister to you i don't have the gift and the calling for people like that we will meet somewhere else this one is for people who obey scriptures the other says we meet some other time don't worry there's a platform for everything this one is for people who obey scriptures we cannot be struggling we cannot be stranded do you understand we cannot be struggling we cannot be stranded we cannot be experiencing some things going on when we do it's a knowledge problem do you understand when we do it's a knowledge problem so if you obey god you should be here if you do partial obedience selective obedience don't bother because i can't guarantee the output and the outcome so don't let us do fraud in this thing because the bible says when we pray god answers so when it looks like god is not answering we should find out what is going on because god is not a scam and being a child of god is not scam and we must understand that reality so we will be praying for our businesses and on sunday when i was taking that walk i just felt some level of burden and when i started praying i felt relief and i'll tell you what i prayed about what i said to god first of all was god in the area of business that you have given me open my eyes of understanding to serve the people you have called me to serve for example nobody is called to everybody and i was saying to god the people that you created me for the people you designed me for the people you gave me solutions for all of us are saviors i know my friend priest over talks about house of savior how we are saviors and stuff and i agree that all of us are saviors and all of us are sent to save some set of people now you are the one who would identify the people you've been sent to save by the discernment and the grace of god i am not sent to save everyone i do not have the capacity to save people who move in a funny way there are some people who know how to do that i do not know how to do that i know how to help people who are intentional get results for example if you are lazy you can't work with me i don't i don't understand the concept of laziness do you understand so some people may understand it and they may be able to help you but i have come to agree and to humbly state that i don't understand the concept of laziness for ex i don't understand it so i can't help you if you are not hard working especially if you're a christian when your bible says that seeth a man diligent in his work seeth a man diligent it's not seeth a man believing in his work it's not seeth a man praying in his work seeth a man diligent in his work he will stand before kings it is fraudulent for you not to be diligent and to expect to stand before kings it is fraud and it is fraudulent seeth a man diligent in his works but i've seen people who pray to stand before kings the proposals you are sending are full of errors your boss cannot depend on you your clients cannot depend on you nobody can depend on you you are looking for how to cut your way you know to break through you are looking for the shortcut you are stealing from everybody and you want to stand before kings no you will not because it will be against scripture for god to honor the desire of your heart when the truth is seeth a man diligent in his work it is not a matter of i receive it is not a matter of using tithe and offering at some level of bribery if you want to pay your tithes good for you if you want to pay your offering excellent but tithes and offering are not some form of bribery to the heart of god it is not the amount it is not the currency 
seeth a man diligent. There's a job description, there's an attitude that you must have to stand before kings. And the Bible says it, to stand, you will stand before kings and not mere men. So, meaning they are mere men and they are kings. But the ones who will show up to serve the kings, the ones who will be called upon to serve the kings, is that person that is diligent. So the question for you today is, am I diligent in my place of assignment? Am I dependable in my place of assignment? Am I loyal in my place of assignment? And who God has called me to save? Am I saving them the way I am expected to save them? Can my boss depend on me? Can my clients depend on me? Can God depend on me? Can my work pass the test of excellence? pass the test of worship enough of all of this spiritual fraud where we want to replace prayers with hard work there's a place to pray and there is a place to work hard if you are looking for children you must at least have sex do you understand if you desire to get married you must at least show up somewhere online offline ask your friends to introduce you to kind people you must do something if you are planning to relocate or move somewhere else from whatever country you are in you must at least have a passport if you want a car you must at least start learning how to drive there is a part where you must show up that hypocrisy in the body of Christ must stop. It is just not about praying. There's a place to work. The one who created you kept on creating. The question, therefore, is what are you creating? You can't just pray fast and be, you know, some people pray, they actually pray to the point where they cry. Some people pray, they actually bring, start bringing out snot. Some pray, they fast for 200 days out of 356, 365, whatever number of days are there, you know, and nothing. And then they are wondering why they are stranded. If you were as hardworking as you were prayerful, something would change in your life. And then even your Bible says that faith without works. Don't hold on to faith and abandon works. Faith without works is vain. So I am giving this foundation for us to be very intentional. If you are looking for that spiritual fraud platform where you are not going to do anything, God will do everything, this is not the right page to be on. On this page, we believe God. And on this page, we work hard and show up in a diligent way to represent God. So the first prayer point that we are going to have is us praying to God that God should open our eyes of understanding to see the role that we're expected to play in our organizations and in our businesses. If an organization is paying you, you must give them the value they are paying you for. If you are cheating your staff, you are cheating your clients, and you are cheating your boss, you will not prosper. Yes, I said it. If you are cheating your clients, you are cheating your boss, you are cheating everybody around you, you will find out that one thing, two things in your life will lack. And when I say you will find out, you will see it because that client, that boss, that stuff you are cheating, when you pray and you expect God to answer your prayers, when they pray, don't you expect God to answer their prayers? What is making you feel like God will answer your prayers and God will not answer them? So if you are cheating anybody, today is a fantastic time to say, I humble myself before you. I am sorry for all I have done. The ones you can refund, go refund them, apologize. But you must take responsibility. There's no spiritual fraud that leads to blessing. 
forget about what you see in Nigeria or whatever country you are in. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about normal people here. So the first prayer point that we're going to have is to say to God, the Lord, please open my eyes of understanding to see my role in what I'm doing, what I'm doing as a CEO, what I'm doing as a staff, what I'm doing as anything that I am, what I'm doing in that place that I get money from. Money is hard to find. It is very easy to criticize your boss. But let me tell you something, every 30 days, if you have a boss that is paying you every 30 days and they never miss that payment cycle, you owe them a part of your life. And here is what I mean. For somebody to consistently pay, especially in a place where if they don't pay you, they will get away with it. For somebody to consistently pay and for you to consistently deliver. So there are two people here, you and your boss. You are bringing your dependability and your expertise. Your boss is bringing their own. It is a lot of work in a pandemic, in a post-pandemic, in a criminal world, in everything. It takes a lot to still have integrity in 2023. Integrity as a business person, integrity as a staff. So I know that it's not every time you are in love with your boss, but a part of you must be thankful. Social media can teach you otherwise, but trust me, they are not going to hire you. They are not going to hire you. Those people who are always pushing you to say yes, insult them, call their bluff, cancel, kinikon, kinikon, they won't hire you. They will not even give you 2K for data. When anything happens, they would abandon you and disappear. So let's get the truth together. If you have a client, if you have a boss, anybody who is paying you, a part of you must be thankful. I didn't say worship them. I didn't say revert them. I didn't say they are doing you a favor. No, but I'm saying that at a point in time, in a world where almost everybody is compromising, if you still have good and kind people, defend them with your life. So the first prayer point, we will do that now, where we will pray to God to open our eyes to see our role. Your role in your office, your role as a CEO, your role anywhere. Tell God to please open your eyes. Please go ahead and pray. Father Lord, please open my eyes to see who to serve. Open my eyes to see my role in every client that encounters me. Open my eyes to understand my role in the life of every client that you have assigned to me. I'm aware that I'm not called to everybody. Open my eyes to identify the people that I'm called to. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, because I have eyes that see and ears that hear. Lord, please open my eyes to see and to play my part in the lives of people that you have sent to me, in the lives of people that you have sent me to in the lives of people that you sent me to as a savior lord open my eyes to see my role open my eyes to see my role open my eyes to see my role oh god open my eyes to see my role jehovah please open my eyes to see my role open my eyes to see what you assigned me to do. Open my eyes to see how you assigned me to do it. And open my eyes to see the nations that you sent me to, the organizations you sent me to, the individuals that you sent me to. Jehovah God, I ask that you open my eyes. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The second prayer point will be us praying that God will help us to humble ourselves enough to understand his heart. And here is what I mean. Sometimes when you're very intelligent or multi-talented, you feel like you are leading God, God is behind you. And sometimes in this age and time where social media is very prominent, there's this herd mentality where 
a good number of people talk anyhow, they lose themselves online, they misbehave and stuff. This time around, we're going to be very intentional about designing our lives and we are going to say to God, that Lord, help me to be humble enough to heal myself as I heal others. If you are a human resource, you are a healer. If you are an accountant, you are a healer. If you are a nurse, you are a healer. If you are a designer, you are a healer. If you are into tech, you are healing. Tech has done so much in the world, including healing. All of us are healers and some of us want to become global healers. So we're saying to God that, Lord, as I heal other people in my area, as a teacher, as anybody that I am, as I heal other people in my area, in my expertise, in my industry, Lord, help me to heal. Jehovah, please help me to heal as I heal others. Help me to take responsibility for my weaknesses and my childhood pain. Help me to see where I am hurting and help me to appreciate your healing. Help me to appreciate your healing. So the prayer point is, Lord, help me to heal as I heal others. Even if you are in comedy, anywhere that you are, you show up as a healer. If you are a pilot, you show up as a healer. Anywhere that you are, what you are doing as a pilot is you are moving people from where they are to where they desire to be. Some of them have health issues. Some of them have relationship issues. So all of us in our areas of life, in our industries, we're healers. So the next prayer point is, Lord, as I heal other people, help me to heal. Help me to take responsibility for my pain. Help me to take responsibility for my childhood pain. There are so many men listening to me today. They are good men within themselves. They are kind men within themselves. But guess what? They have listened so much to culture that culture has destroyed the goodness God created in them. We are not cultural beings. We are heavenly beings. We come from heaven every morning. Or maybe I should say my own. I come from heaven every morning. I come from heaven every morning. Heaven is the headquarters. Heaven is home. So I am not an African. I am a child of God. I am not cultural. I am a child of God. So whatever I'm doing, I'm using the eyes of God to check if the standard and what I'm doing is in the manual. So I am not going to say, oh, African mothers, African father, this is how we do it in Africa. You are a child of God. There are some things in Africa that go against the Bible. It goes against the Bible. There are some things in Nigeria that goes against the Bible. And you know the reason why? Because culture was created by men, not by God. And as long as men gather, there will be personality disorders. The reason for the personality disorder will be mistakes, will be weaknesses, will be strengths, will be different things, will be ego. So we cannot reason like ordinary people or mere mortals. We have to reason like the children of God that we are. So please proceed to pray. Let's pray that God heal us. Father, in the name of Jesus, I hand over myself to you as I heal. Lord, help me to heal. Help me to heal myself as I heal other people. Help me to love as I love other people. Help me to be kind as I'm kind to other people. Help me to prioritize myself as I prioritize other people. Help me to value myself as I value other people. Help me to see myself as worthy as I see others. Help me to love myself as I love others. Help me to feel good enough as I make others feel good enough. Help me to prosper as I teach others prosperity. Lord, I hand over myself unto your hands as your sacrifice. And I ask that you help me, O God. Every part of me that does not align with you, Jehovah, I ask that you reveal to me. Every part of me that does not give you glory and adoration, I ask that you reveal to me. And when you do, Lord, I receive the humility to accept. I receive the humility to change. I receive the humility to learn and be a better person. Help me to be better for myself, 
to be better for everybody that encounters me. Help me to value myself. Help me to understand that I am so valuable. You sent Jesus to die for me. Help me to heal as I heal other people, oh God. Help me to heal Jehovah God. Help me to heal Jehovah God. Help me to heal Jehovah God. El Shaddai, help me to heal. King of Kings, help me to heal. Lord, all my childhood pain, everything that I got from childhood that is part of my imperfection. Lord, please reveal them to me. And when you do, please give me the humility to accept and the humility to find how to change. The humility to find a solution to it. And the humility to know that, you know what? My life is better without this baggage. My life is better without this pain. My life is better without this childhood pain. Lord, help me to heal as I heal others. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The final prayer point for today will be us praying that God will help us to be his ambassadors. God will help us to obey him God will help us to obey his word. We are not going to use the word of God as a weapon of shame. We are not going to use the word of God as a weapon of disgrace. We are not going to use the word of God as a weapon of judgment. We are going to ask God, according to Galatians 5.22, his fruit of the spirit, that God will help us to be kind. He will help us to be patient. He will help us to practice long suffering. It will help us to be truthful like we should. It would help us to be assertive like we should. It will help us to have boundaries. You cannot be a child of God and not tap into the power that God gives for self-control. You cannot be a child of God and be justifying infidelity. You cannot be a child of God and be justifying fornication because there is power in the name of God. There is power in self-control. You cannot be a child of God and be mean to your wife, be mean to your husband, be mean to your children. You cannot be a child of God and be cheating, be involved in fraud, be doing anything. And this is not to judge. This is to say the truth. Scriptures means we are following a script. The script is the Bible. The script is the word of God. And we are not selecting what to obey and the part not to obey. We are going to follow a script if we agree that we are Christians. If you are not a Christian, it's fine. Anything you want to do, go ahead and do it. But you cannot call yourself a Christian and not desire to abide by the script. That's spiritual fraud. You cannot be available for the blessing and not be available for the principle. You have to participate in the principle. You have to participate in the script and then in the blessing. Enough of us showing up to ask God and ask God and ask God. God, you are not entitled to it. We keep asking and asking and asking. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to do anything. Pay attention to instructions. Pay attention to what God is saying to you via discernment of spirit. All of those things. We have to follow the script. Yes, we'll make mistakes. Yes, we'll make errors. Yes, we may have our issues here and there. But you cannot be cheating. If you cheat once, you can call that a mistake and grace is available you can't consistently cheat and call it a mistake man no way because there's grace available for your self-control so we are going to pray to god that according to galatians 5 22 the holy spirit please help us please help us to obey you help us to be useful to your service and to your kingdom the world genuinely needs Christians. What is really going on in the world is because we have too many people who go to church, too many people who do Christianese and spiritual gymnastics, but very little Christians. When you meet 10 people who go to church, one or two of them are the people who follow the word of God. In fact, there is a new layer of or new we have a new set of christians those people who act like cultists on social media where 
when you say anything about their pastor and I'm not here I'm not available for you insulting any pastor you can disagree with them you can talk about it but it must be done respectfully and in order but there are some Christians who practically worship their pastor and you will be wondering if they still think like the cognitive center given to you do you still use it for them they never have this independent thought it is always about my pastor said my pastor said you are not doing and like God is not proud of that beyond my pastor said what are you saying what is what are you saying what are you saying what exactly are you saying beyond my pastor said so we're going to pray to God now and what are we praying to God for we're saying to God the Lord help me to align my ways with your ways we are imperfect we struggle but we cannot pretend that our imperfections should be permanent you can't keep hurting your spouse and call it a weakness especially when there are solutions and there are other professionals who can help you so we're going to pray to god now the lord help me to align my ways with yours Help me to align my spirit with your spirit. Help me to align my soul with your soul. Help me to align my body. Like, help me to submit myself to you. Submission is very key. For men who love submission, who desire submission, the first question is, are you submitting and submitted to God? If you are not submitted to God, then why are you looking for submission? I thought it was the Bible that says submit. And if you cannot submit you as a human being then you don't you can't look for it it is the Bible that says submit and the first submission is individual submission once you submit yourself to the authority of God it should not be difficult for anybody to align with you so we're gonna to pray to God Lord help me to align with you Help me to align with you. In this world where compromises are everywhere, where shortcuts are everywhere, where it looks like it is easier to malfunction to get to where you desire to be. But here we are saying the Lord, we want to align with you. We desire to align with you. We desire to show up for you as your ambassador. So please go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I hand over myself to you and I ask that you help me align with you. For the days that I struggle, I ask that you help me align with you. For the mornings that I struggle, I ask that you help me align with you. For the afternoons that I struggle, I ask that you help me align with you. For the evenings that I struggle, I ask that you help me align with you. My soul desires to honor you. I desire to submit to you. I desire to obey you. And your word says that obedience is more than sacrifice. Lord, I offer myself, oh God, help me to align with you. Help me to burden myself with what burdens you. Help me to pay attention to what you pay attention to help me to prioritize you in my daily activities help me to prioritize you in my weekly activities help me to prioritize you every hour help me to know that you are the center help me to know that i am on earth to fulfill your wish help me to know that you brought and sent and created me here in your image so that i can function like you desire that i function lord help me to please you help me to align with you help me to show up like your child help me to be a good brand ambassador of the kingdom help me to be a good representative of the kingdom help me to represent you lord every time i speak let people hear your words and your voice lord as i say it let me see it let it be obvious that i carry the power of god let it be obvious that i am a voice of god let it be obvious that i am a finger of god let it be obvious that the spirit of god is upon me let it be obvious that i dwell in the secret place of the most high god let it be obvious that the lord is my shepherd let it be obvious 
just that deep, call it unto deep. Let it be obvious that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help. Let it be obvious that I am your child. Lord, help me to align with you. Let my soul align with you. Let my spirit align with you. Let my body align with you. Let every part of me be in submission to your will, O God. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. We bless you, Jehovah God. Thank you for showing up today. We will continue the prayer session tomorrow, same time, 4 p.m. CST, 10 p.m. West African time, 10 p.m. UK time. Please remember to invite your friends, and this will be here again for you to listen to if you desire to listen to it on my page. Thank you so much. Do have a restful afternoon or restful evening, and remember that we are intentionally aligning ourselves with who our father is so that we can get the results that children of God are expected to get. They are results that are created. They are results that are designed for the children of God. And the result, we have to receive those results through obedience. If you are not obeying God, then you cannot receive the results. So we have to align ourselves to the will of God, to the word of God, and in obedience to what God is saying. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have a prayer point also tomorrow. I would expect God to tell me what to pray about tomorrow like he did today. I care about you. Please keep representing God. Please keep showing up for God. And please keep doing what you expected to do as a staff, as a boss, as a client, anywhere that you are. Make God proud. We show up every day as children of God. Let God know that he can depend on you. Let him know that his children love him and desire to align their ways with his ways. So I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same time, same time, same time. Thank you so much for everyone from Kenya, from Nigeria, from the US, from the UK, from every part of the world that you joined. I will be here tomorrow and talk to you soon. Bye.